Hmm? Um, guys? Sandy. 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 We're live. It's 4.30. You can't be live. Andy, Andy, we're live. We're live. Look, mate, I don't understand. I know, 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 I
yes. Chris Uwe is playing oh, Brian Nero in this film. Like you uh, told me that for the first time this week. <laughs> Um, Tell me about it. Wonder Woman 1984 is the second film in the Wonder Woman franchise. Um, it is starring again Gal Gadot, Chris Pine reprising his role, Steve Trevor. And Christian Sh- Wiig. Yeah, Tristan Wiig. Because I made the joke. You, about wigging out. Ah, uh, get it. Um, but anyway, that one is going to, the film at least, is it's coming out. It's been delayed. I don't know what's coming out. A lot of things have been delayed. That's the nature of the situation. <laughs> Um, but anyway, we have the full, oh, there is a bundle, at the least seven. Only seven. Um, that one is retailing currently for 114, so basically getting a free pop out of that bundle free of seven. Um, and pop. then there are also free some pop. additional ones, uh, another eight so far, different one more in different poses. A lot of these are uh, special edition United States exclusive yeah. ones, yeah. Um, so we can't actually ship any with the special edition sticker to United States and Canada for the time being, but always check back because that status changes frequently. Yep. Um, but uh, yeah, any of the standard ones you should well buy. Yeah, yeah, so nearly all of them there are 19.99 with the exception of the Chrome one, which is 24.99. Or but yeah, exciting stuff. Wonder Woman 1984, all these ones are in stock and available on the website. Next one, Andy. Whoa! All right, so if you were alive in the 90s, I'm not sure if Andy was. Um, but uh, you probably saw some of these classic uh, Batman I mean, films. The best Batman film ah, of all time is Batman and Robin. Oh, George Clooney, oh. Arnold Schwarzenegger, oh boy, oh boy. Sandy. No, <laughs> bad Sandy. Uh, we've got uh, The Joker uh, from Tim Burton's 1989 Batman film. We've also got um, Danny Vito's Penguin and Bill Pfeiffer's uh, Catwoman from Batman Returns, the sequel that uh, arguably better than the original. Uh, but don't forget Jim Carrey's The Riddler. And Tommy Lee Jones as Two Face. Oh, oh, oh. I thought that they could, they could be a, a dynamic duo of bad guys. Well, they were. They were. Yep. <laughs> and from the most terrible Batman film of all time, we have Mr. Freeze. Boyfriend. Uma Thurman, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The careers somehow made it out of that film. Mm, they did. Sandy Search and Dreams did not. No. Still great films. Now, Sandy, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing this one. I've never seen it. Tell me about this. Inuasha. Right. So, originally a manga series, um, then adapted into a anime. Um, a little bit of an interesting plot line with that one. Um, it involves. Oh man, it's 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 cool. You haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it. I read the blurb and um, it's about kind of tracking down little fragments of this uh, emerald and uh, trying to find a couple of bad guys. We have some pop vinyls in stock from it. Um, we have uh, three regular pots that you can grab in a bundle for forty nine ninety nine. Forty nine ninety nine, and we have the uh, exclusive evil. New Marshall yeah. pop as well. Now we just didn't touch on the backing prices, so pretty much these ones are also in a bundle. Um, all of them without Poison Ivy, um, so the set of six, nine, 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 and then just Poison Ivy by itself is just a standard nine, nineteen, nine, nine, nine. So again, with those bundles, you're getting a free pop. So oh, free pop, free pop. Uh, also on this side of the table, Ooh, got a couple of awesome things here. Um, from Hasbro, we have the Black Series 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. Uh, series of figures, which have been styled in uh, classic Kenner packaging, um, so reflective of the, uh, the three and three quarter action figures from from way back when. Um, awesome figures. Uh, we've got Yoda, we've got Leia, we've got ATAT Drago, we've got Han Solo, and Luke Skywalker. All the all the all the all the, all the ones from that movie. Ooh. Get ready. Today in stock. See how much are they? Uh, they are thirty nine ninety nine. I'm excited about these ones. Hasbro has been great stuff, and we're excited to be, uh, yeah, stuck in these uh, anniversary figures. Yeah, definitely. The packaging is awesome. Um, I love those ones. They are cool as. Um, Sadie. Yes. You're a big uh, K pop fan. Oh, man. Uh, all the time. Well, this way of putting together a, um, a, uh, a series of designer toys. Based on uh, on Sandy's favorite band, so, Sandy, tell me about them. BTS, BTS. Yeah. Yes. Um, so really popular uh, across the world. BTS, uh, as anyone mentioned, K-pop, Korean pop band. Um, Look, I don't know. I kind of like my boy bands. One Direction. Um, 
What else we got? Go through points. Go through points. It's going to be I want it that way. Yeah, yeah, nice. um, but these guys, yeah. Um, as you can see <laughs> with these ones, they are stylized like their real counterparts, um, each holding kind of significant items um, that they featured in music videos, I believe. They're at a signature bus stop, so some of the figures will come with uh, a bus stop backing or something else. Others will come with accessories. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you can combine them all together and create kind of a nice diorama of all seven. They also come with the little envelope card, character card here. Um, it has some details about them in Korean, so I don't actually know what it says. But um, oh my God. very cool to see Blitz Boy doing some design toys. I really like how these stylized. I really like the playset aspect of putting them together, uh, collecting the whole lot. Um, I'm hoping to see a lot more kind of vile, yeah. vile figures coming out of this way. Yeah, it just shows that uh, music collectibles can be made and boots won't jump on board. It's promising. It's very cool to see. Very um, cool to see. Those ones are $119.99 each, so it's going to take you back for the whole set. But um, yeah, if you're a big yes fan, definitely worth it. Check them out. That's any less K pop on over to the other side of the table. Uh, because we've got some more play to here. Last week we looked at the Mystery Machine from Scooby Doo, and this week we got dragons. We have dragons, how to train your dragons. Sandy, yeah. tell me about it. Oh, well, Flaming Wheel is one of my personal favorites. I grew up with it all the time. Um, and it is, yeah, really cool to see the dragons uh, in the signature Flaming Wheel style. So we got a catapult. Yep, launching some of the sheep there, which is pretty cool. Uh, three, three dragons. dragons. We have, yes, uh, Fish Legs, which is the, uh, the character's name there, the dragon's name is eluding me. Um, but this, uh, another dragon as well. <laughs> we got this one out of the box. That one's out of the box. Um, comes with a little cowboy gun here. Um, watch out for your eyes. Um, it's got some Viking character. I'm, 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 this is not my well, demographic of yeah. um, toying or film, so I'm, I, I think it's kind of cool to see a dragon as Playmobil. The sculpts are really awesome, the quality of the Playmobil is top tier. Um, I'm super impressed. Yep. Uh, these are going to be durable, durable kids' toys, so uh, definitely get on it. We've got a three head boy over here as well. Yep. Bath and Belch is that one. Um, $109.99 for this big boy. Um, Hoof Gang and Snout Lap, which is this one, $69.99. Uh, then we go down to Fish Legs and Meat Lab, $59.99. And the Catapult. Yep, and that one is $49.99. Awesome. So, so good selection of how to train your own. Heaps uh, more playing with your as well. I'm saying we've got some, uh, we've got some, we've got some countryside, limits, food trucks and stuff. Space. Got but, um, but yeah, there, there's a chance how to train dragons as well. So yeah, it's nice. Nice and stuff. That one I'm going to pick up in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get around to that. That was really fun. The tail. Oh, yeah. classic. Sandy, so, tell us about some of the ball games we've got in. Alrighty, so, um, well, I know a lot of people are wanting to get back to the pub ASAP. Um, hopefully restrictions will be lifted, but in the meantime, you can check out Top Trunks pub quiz um, with over 500 trivia questions. You can play that at home in preparation for when pubs do reopen and the uh, inevitable pub trivia night. They have some awesome, really challenging questions on that one. If you're trivia now and just wanting to buff up your brain, um, check that one out. Um, really, really cool. I think that's only $19.99, so cheap trivia here. Spyfall is another really popular franchise or series of games. Um, this version being time travel, so just taking a different spin on the game. Um, really, really cool. That one is $29.99, I believe. Uh, no, it is not. I wish. Oh, um, and then we also have Disney Geek Out, another trivia style game. $34.99. Yep, that's the one. Pretty much um, dedicated for those Disney fans. Heaps and heaps of Disney related questions. Who scored this movie? Name Who movies. scored that movie? Name that movie. Uh, little Mermaid. Wrong. It's not my symbols. Right. Sorry. I didn't know the question. But anyway, uh, moving forward, we also have a brand new Harry Potter's Harry Potter's Harry Potter's um, House Crest puzzle. Um, it doesn't actually specify five hundred pieces. Right. We were trying to figure that out earlier. earlier. Um, each with the respective houses on that one by Winnie Moves. Nice, 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 n
fresh off the boat. Sandy, we've got some uh, some some yeah, card know. album hacks, <laughs> me card album um, that you can like portfolios that you can briefly store your deck. Is that a Snorlax pin? Um, yeah, so Ooh. these two are collector packs, um, each with their collector pins and a collector card. $27.99 for both Snorlax and Morpico. Morpico? Is that right? Uh, anyway, <laughs> moving forward, uh, Elite Trainer Box uh, in the style of Elite Trainer Boxes. Uh, you get a bunch of booster packs as well as energy cards, a dice, um, some nice little card sleeves, uh, as well as a little book album of all the Pokemon in this specific range. There are also some structure decks there, uh, $19.99 for both of those. I'm not even going to begin to try and pronounce their names. Um, both starting with Z, uh, Zas Zasian. Uh, Zasian. Uh, I'm doing a very good job, Sandy. I'm going to handle that one over here. I'm not going to say that. Uh, we covered the prices on those. Yeah. yeah, we did. Uh, so we yeah, more or less. Oh, Spider-Man. Uh, from Neko, we've just got this back in. Back in. Back in. Correct. Uh, it's the Casey Jones replica mask from the 1998 Game Show film. Sandy, you want to pop this one on your head? Give a little example. Uh, it's got some great packaging. Uh, so, if you're fans of that film, if you're fans of what Neko are doing with uh, this, this license, they're doing some really great stuff. The yeah. full scale, of 7 inches, um, really killer cool stuff from play sets. Uh, you can grab this one for $69.99. Just back in stock today. Mm. Uh, so I very quickly last time. So if you missed out, jump on it. Uh, you can look this good every day. Every day. Every day. Oh, oh, that was a tight squeeze. Um, yes, back in stock. Also check it out if you're team and team then. Uh, let's talk about some six year things. Yes. Uh, so I'm a big fan of Mondo. I'm a big fan of what they do with toys, what they do with posters, pins, prints, vinyl. Uh, heaps of stuff. Heaps of stuff. And uh, we've just got in some new six scale figures from Mondo. Um, we've got, of course, uh, Vic Freeze from the Batman Animated Series license. Um, now these are in scale with uh, other six scale figures um, from, you know. Just in general, one six scale. Yeah, they're in scale. That's the scale. Yeah, six scale. But even seeing animated figures in that scale, it works. It works. It does. Um, so the great thing about this, which I'm a big fan of, is that they've actually painted the figures if, if they were shell set. Cell shaded um, from the show, so they've replicated a lot of the paint work, a lot of the lines, a lot of, the, a lot of that style. Oh, that see. retro, yeah, that retro, um, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, the, the, the aesthetic of this scene actually was up there. Oh, was it? Uh, Gotham in that. And I, just, I still haven't grasped. No. Yeah. But, um, this figure is not, but it, but it does take a lot of that, those clean lines and those yeah. curves that, um, the character designs um, were in full style. Comes with heaps of accessories. Um, you can swap out the visor or dome with kind of a, a melting uh, version, an angry portrait of Victor there, and Nora Freeze in the snow globe, um, and then a frozen battery. Frozen battery. Uh, plus a ton of hands and, and posing and cool stuff. To throw the frozen battery. Definitely. Yeah. Also, there's on Batman themed stand, which is pretty groovy. Yeah. Well, we already have the Batman on the other side, so get grab that one, duke it out. So easy. Merman as well. From Mars of the Universe, two different portraits, um, one more stylized, and then the other, I believe, is more of the animated series version. I love this figure. I think it looks awesome. Uh, details are great. Uh, paintwork is awesome, um, and it's nice to see kind of. The classic toy and the classic series yep. kind of be brought to life uh, in, you know, Mondo's premium quality. Signature style as yeah. well, so like it's jumped directly from Mondo's art, all the designated uh, TV programs as well. Yeah, definitely. Uh, with those masters, we do have Skeletor and he yeah. um, And they just prices on those ones. Moon Man is $299.99, um, and then Mr. Freeze is $249.99. Premium deal. Yeah. All right. For six L. Are we getting Mr. Freeze? Premium quality. I have the uh, I have the Mondo Turtles at home. Really big. I've got those and stuff as well. Um, and I have the Mondo. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. some Mondo stuff. No, but their actually figure quality is is top tier, and I highly recommend it. 
we'll jump into Hot Toys next, I reckon. So Hot Toys were renowned for their 1-6 scale uh, action figures, their likenesses of the movie characters and the actors. Here we have Fantastic Beasts 2, Crimes of Grindelwald. Ooh, it'd be a crime to pick these up, am I right? Oh, oh I reckon. <laughs> um, so you got Jelly Depp, and you've got the other guy. New uh, Commander. No, what's the actor's name? Uh, Gullet Grindelwald. Anyway, we have the two characters from <laughs> Fantastic Beasts. Um, I didn't like the movie, it, it lacked the third act, but I like these figures a lot. Uh, they look cool. Um, details are always awesome, and if you're a big fan of the uh, Harry Potter universe, you'll definitely want to get these. Yeah, these are the first, first 160 of Harry Potter figures, or Harry Potter liked. Um, from Hot from Toys. From Hot Toys. Yeah. So, uh, so that top line Hot Toys quality added to some licenses that uh, we are excited to see done in yeah. scale. Just came in, I believe they went on the website today. Um, not all of this stuff you see might be on the website. Um, I think most of it's the main stuff now, but if not, we'll make it stuff very shortly. Yeah. Uh, so that's action figures. Uh, you can grab the Fantastic Beasts um, Hot Toys for $379.99 um, a piece. Um, new scale one that comes with the, uh, the, the briefcase. It's got all the baby necklaces in there. It's got a book, Fantastic Beasts. Um, some really cool accessories. Yep. So, something you definitely want to add to your collection. Definitely. Fantastic piece, and where to find them? Right here at Pop Culture. Oh, nice one. Um, moving past that terrible joke. Sorry. The Iron Studios. Iron Studios this week, we see the awesome one six, six scale diorama um, designed by Ivan Reese. It is of Lobo. Lobo! That's the one. Um, Lobo. Bring back Sheriff Lobo. <sighs> Not quite. Um, but Lobo is a DC character from the oh, DC universe. Um, now, Sandy. Yes, man. I dread. You've not known anything about Lobo. Right. That he's the like Deadpool equivalent in the DC universe, and I've heard that you have varying opinions on this matter. I do. Well, we had this conversation the other day. Um, yeah, he's kind of like Deadpool. Lobo came first. So. so... But yeah, he is kind of comical in the same way that Deadpool is. A little bit more violent and gory. Gory. Um, yeah, man, definitely. Um, but in a way, he is kind of like the mercenary of the mouth. So yes, Deadpool-ish. Um, but also kind of like he's just... He just doesn't have limits. As you can see, he's taking on the aliens in this. This is an awesome piece. He's riding his space bike. Um, the detail is intense. Comes with three different portraits. The, the detail on the alien, even just the resin kind of um, jet propulsion. I like I like, like comes in smoke. I stuff. like statues that do play with painted aspects and clear resin aspects yeah. as well. And the the uh, the flames from his bike uh, are left translucent, which is pretty cool. Adds a nice element to it. Oh man, this is awesome. Um, I am definitely tempted to pick this one up. As a huge DC fan, even just looking at the Bite Me fanboy, which is a really classic Lobo. Um, yeah, man, it's just, just pick it up, man. Man, uh, yeah, maybe it's only one thousand six hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Comes with a couple alternate heads, uh, so you can pick which, uh, I guess, artist styling yeah, you want. Definitely. Um, and uh, yeah, really, really awesome piece. How much did you get? Uh, Sixteen nine 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 nine. So seventeen hundred. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, also the statues we have from Iron Studios, the one-tenth scale uh, diorama series from Avengers Endgame. Now, this is a massive series. They're essentially going through every character from, uh, from the most recent Avengers film yeah. and uh, bringing to life the, the end battle against Thanos and yeah. his, uh, his cronies. So we have the Outrider there, which is one of them that we've just got in. We've also just got in um, Black Panther holding the gauntlet. Uh, we've got Thor with his two uh, two hammers there, and uh, we've got uh, the Winter Soldier. Being the Winter Soldier. Being the Winter Soldier. We've got a bunch more in stock currently on the website, a bunch more for pre-order, and some have already sold out. So if you're keen on this range, it is going fast. Grab what you can right now, because uh, as you can see, the rocky bases, put, you can put them together in any any way you want to arrange them, yeah. uh, and they still look good. So they are all themes to be part of the same set. Yeah, you know, there's actually two different uh, battle dioramas. Yeah. Uh, okay, right. No, no. Uh, lastly, from first of all, figures today. Uh, so you know, those statues. There are yeah. a bunch of different prices. 
But um, we higher have higher on that 200. Yeah, yeah so between 200 and 350 thereabouts, depending on the complexity of the case. Um, we have Winter Soldier and uh, the General Outrider, they're $219.99. And we have Thor, $229.99. And Black Panther is $299.99 on that base set. Um, so, yeah, 10 scale, great if you're looking to collect a lot. Um, because they are shelf friendly and uh, you can really pack them together. I assume it's your amazing work, but uh, I don't know if you can see the 1 6 scale, the detail can be big, all the detail can be The so fact that they can be the details on that 110 range yeah. has always impressed me. I've yeah. um, said many times in the past that um, they're doing um, awesome stuff. Awesome stuff yeah. that uh, no one's really coming close to in that, no. in that, in that scale. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so first of all figures, we have just landed a couple of video game statues. Um, we've got the returning um, Breath of the Wild Link. So this one came in stock a couple of years ago. We've just managed to restock it. Um, you can grab that for $129.99. Um, it's got Link with his bow and his hero's tunic there. Uh, and my piece I'm most excited about today is of course the Conquest Bad Fur Day statue from First World Figures. Uh, it's $749.99. Um, and it comes with a removable crown, uh, it comes with his uh, glass of milk there from the from the opening sequence of Conquest Bad Fur Day. Now Sam, you don't you didn't know what Conquest Bad Fur Day was. No, I just looked, I looked at him and he was a mad little squirrel eating a cup of milk and I was like, you know what, that's my kind of guy. Mate, it was the, legit probably the best multiplayer experience that Nintendo 64 had to offer. Yeah. And then they moved it to the Xbox, the original Xbox, and they took the multiplayer out of the game. Mate. Can't run around with your tongue, killing taste. I've said before, but you, you seem to have a lot of repressed anger. Yeah. Uh, this game would do it to you. It was intense. Uh, but it was a lewd, it was crude, it was great to see some British humour um, in video games, which was something that, until that date, you haven't really seen. Um, uh, yeah, really awesome piece on his, on his, on his throne there. Um, also from, uh, this is the second release in First World Figures and Railway's team up. Um, we've also released the Banjo Kazooie statue, which we do have available in stock now as well. Definitely. Um, so, that one's limited to 300 pieces as well, so definitely check it out. Um, and if you can like it, like Andy, oh, okay. buy it, or you'll miss out. I've got a Banjo on my desk, maybe I'll add this to that collection. I'd be disappointed if you didn't. You're now, prepared to be definitely don't it. want to miss. <laughs> <laughs> well, my someone's actually miss it. That's why you clip. <sighs> and if you're fanning that one, Eva, we have a limited edition, slightly more limited now. Um, I think I'll be having to buy this one. It's, uh, you've got a uh, Cowboy Bebop the artwork, Cowboy Bebop the film, uh, the soundtrack on Blu ray and on vinyl. Um, and they come in a nice, awesome um, vinyl collector box there. Uh, we should mention. We're taking a plunge into the world of vinyl records and we're going to be stocking a whole massive range of film soundtracks, um, indie music, rock music, punk music, pop music, um, to coincide with the opening of our upcoming Geelong store. We're really excited to make uh, a record presence in Geelong, which um, hometown where the store is, something yeah. that's been lacking for a couple of years now, so we're excited to have it. Take over from that and, and add, add, a, add a record store option in Geelong, and we'll have these available online. Um, we've just put up the, the upcoming King Gizzard Liz, Lizard Lizard album, this one, uh, the new live album, Chunky Shrapnel, that's available now, limited edition, um, on our website for pre order. Um, and we expect to see many more records going out over the next few weeks. Yeah, yeah, I reckon that just about does it. How much was that? That was $3.99. Um, it's got to be a semi special on that one. Uh, yeah, that's, that's what I yeah. Um, what was your favorite item today? Did you do the big one? Me? I really like the combo. Well, that was my favorite. Yeah. what was your favorite today? Well, I don't know. The chart was pretty awesome. Um, we're giving one away. Um, Victor Freeze, I really liked, but Lobo, I reckon, takes the cake. That was just the Yeah, you got really excited about that Lobo, man. No, it's just pretty, I'm really, really excited. Um, I reckon if Luke is ready for us, we might end up going to questions. Is it question time? It's question time. Come on, think guys, Luke. It's question time. Hey guys, how you going? All right, so we've got some questions here. Uh, let's kick off with James. James is asking, what was the name of that indie comic you gave away on Tuesday? 
Oh, it's a good life to be on the weekend by Seth. My favorite comic. Uh, check out Sandy and I did a, a, a talking talk on comics. comics. It went for an hour, it's a bit longer than we thought it was going to be. But uh, we kind of tackled some of the, our favorite comics that we had in stock here. Um, a lot of mine were indie comics from Fan Graphics and Drawn Reporter, and Sandy really liked some stuff from Image and DC and Marvel. Yeah. Uh, but uh, we cover a lot of our catalog that uh, we haven't had the opportunity to kind of bring to you. We're going to do it in one of these episodes, but there's, there's just so many that um, we kind of wanted to, to set that aside separately. But it's a good life if you don't make in by Seth. Also, check out anything by Daniel Close. I plug him a lot as well. <laughs> Alright, very good. Um, Jesse asks, will there be a Baby Yoda bundle coming? Jesse, there's a lot of Baby Yodas coming out. Um, the problem is they tend to be announced at different times, so when we put things up for pre-order, um, we want to make sure that um, we're only keeping each range to itself so that uh, when we first put it up, you can get a deal straight away. Um, it's something, once they all land, I'm sure we will look at adding to the to our website, um, but if you're keen on these, by all means, jump on them. We've got a bunch of Mandalorian bundles already set up, I think, so yeah. um, maybe not specific for Baby Yoda's, but it's something we'll look at in the future. Yeah. yeah. Um, and we've got uh, James here who's asking, I've heard whispers, Sandy loves BTS. Can this be confirmed? Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah? Sandy, so, tell yes. us you memorized all their names just for this, Sandy. I lied. Uh, I don't know anything. <laughs> you caught me in the lie. I don't know. I don't want to disappoint the fans. Sorry, James. Sorry, Sandy was facing a poser, yeah. Um, <laughs> we've got another one here. Uh, what Netflix and movies have you been watching this week? What's good? What's in your What's in your work? What have you been enjoying? Um, I started watching the new one, Amazon. Oh, one. mate, yeah, that's good. Upload. Upload. It's <laughs> by Five Guys Made the Office, the US version, the Parks and Rec. Cool, cool. I'm really enjoying it. It's on Amazon Prime. Um, that's what I started watching last night. I also just did my yearly Twin Peaks watch recently. I uh, always like to get that going. Um, that's enough time in between a rewatch. I oh, thought you need a bit more. That's a, that's a lot. That's a lot of peaks. Yeah, it's got a few peaks. Two of them. Twins. And a big trough right in the middle. Right, right in the middle. Next watch. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't get an answer. Well, no, no, Give no, my two cents. cents. Uh, yeah, I'm watching a Netflix original series called Dark. One of the other warehouse workers got me onto that. It is in German, so you can either watch it with uh, English dubbing or uh, English subtitles, which I do. Um, it is really, really awesome, really time bending, trippy. Um, it's about missing children um, and then trying to solve what has happened. Um, you heard it here first, though. Sandy thinks missing children is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving right along. <laughs> Byron is asking, who is your favourite Mandalorian character? I like the Mandalorian. Basic. <laughs> hey, he's cool. Yeah, right. What about you, Sam? Um, I liked um, cool. Sorry. Cool. Cool is his name. What? Yeah, I said that right. Cool. Oh. Yeah, the little guy. Yeah, man. Don't look at me. Not like this little guy, the other little guy. Yeah, a couple of little guys. Yeah. Yeah, I'm one with the fox. Oh no, that was, that's broke one. Sandy. <laughs> this is the way I think about This is the way. This is the way. Come on, let's just look professional here. Alright. Um, <laughs> and uh, Elise is asking do you have any Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles puzzles coming in? Off the top of my head, I actually don't know. Um, do we look? Do you know? I, I don't know. I hope so. I haven't um, seen it at this stage. But um, I think that's just because we haven't been able to see people uh, producing them. Yeah. Um, um, if there are any, let's just search um, Turtles and Puzzle on our website and that'll bring it up. But it's something that I'll keep an eye out for when we're. I feel like there's room for in our lives for like a round like pizza puzzle. puzzle. Pizza puzzle. Like, yeah, like, like a pepperoni, like a pepperoni. It's got some like little snapshots of right, the from turtles. turtles. Order in a pie, sit down, put that puzzle together. I reckon that's, I reckon that's a good class of turtles on TV. Quick, let's, let's trademark this before someone <laughs> steals it if they haven't already. Um, and Drew is asking Johnny Bravo and Dexter's Lab. 
props. They're sold out to pre-order. Yeah. Do you know if we're getting them back again? Is there going to be another run at any stage? They're a limited edition, so it's unlikely we'll get another batch. But um, if there are any leftovers after we ship out, finish shipping out the, uh, the initial run of orders, yep. they will very likely be made live on our website. So no promises. Um, I'm not sure on the status of them at this stage, but keep an eye on the website. Um, that's where they'll be listed if we do manage to get our hands on any more or any more become available. Yep. Yeah. Alright, um, I think it is about time we uh, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel! Spin Someone's gonna right. win the Star Wars, the Mandalorian, the child, the pop, you said it right. the vinyl, it's the figure, it's 10 inches tall, by Funko, uh, and it's wicked cool. And then we're gonna give away this little guy to a runner up. <laughs> You spin for the big one, I'll spin for the little one. Alright. And... And it's spinning! I don't know if you can see it, but it's spinning! <laughs> the winner of the 10 inch Baby Yoda Pop Final Figure is Jonathan Collins. Hey, Congratulations, Jonathan! Jonathan. Uh, if you could please send us a private message on Facebook with your name, your postal address, and your email address. We'll get this shipped out to you um, ASAP. Well done, Jonathan. Um, well done, Jonathan. Now, Someone's gonna win the itty bitty, mini, tiny, regular size pop vinyl of the child. Also a good prize. Let's uh, do it. I feel like you need to do it, otherwise I'm spinning it backwards. And that doesn't and that's, feel right. No, it feels cheaty in a way, so. Okay, good for sure. Yeah, right, let's do it. Keep it the same direction. We'll try them. I've got a new I've got a new one of these too.